What can be better than homemade bread at home? And these garlic knots are so easy to make in this bread maker. Let's prepare them together. First, add one and a half cups of warm milk, a teaspoon of salt, tablespoon of honey, 50 grams of butter, four cups of flour, and two teaspoons of instant yeast. Close it and put it on rising dough settings. And this is how it's gonna look. In a couple of minutes, your dough will get mixed, and then in about an hour, it'll start rising really nicely, and literally within a few minutes, at one and a half hours, you're gonna get delicious bread. And of course, if you don't have a bread maker, you can rise the bread by yourself. But I thought this was a great alternative where you don't have to take care of it and it'll beautifully rise on its own. And then you cut it into equal small parts. I had about 20 pieces. And then you're going to roll it in your hands, each piece, and tie a knot. Literally tie a knot, just like that. You've probably done it millions of times with, you know, everything like shoelaces at home. Once you have your knots going, repeat the process with other pieces of dough. And then we're gonna cover it with some melted butter, garlic, and some dry herbs. If the time permits, leave the dough to rise for a little bit, probably about half an hour, and that will make sure that your dough expands. And if you don't have time for that, that's okay too. Then you're gonna put it in the oven at 375 Fahrenheit for about 25 minutes. And then you're gonna crack your egg and a bit more melted butter with garlic and put that on top again on your bread. That will assure it gets more crispy and delicious flavors put it back in the oven for about five to ten minutes and voila enjoy and follow us for more ciao